rates of mortality was pushed to the forefront of society. The séance, a word adapted from the French for session or sitting, was popularized by the work of spiritualists, most notably American sisters Margaret and Kate Fox, whose séances in 1850s New York attracted many notable members of society, often with unnerving and shocking results. Far from being taboo, the séance was studied by prominent scientists keen to prove the existence of a life force surviving beyond death. While much uncertainty surrounds the sisters' abilities and methods, their bizarre practices and communication with the dead sparked an interest in spiritualism, which continues to captivate and has led to many heart-pounding encounters for the most haunted team. Encounters that defy explanation. With this, whoa! Go for it! Now that's all we have time for in part three, but stay with us as we're about to embark on the most perilous and ambitious, most haunted live investigation ever. We are looking for eight faces of evil. Will we find one after this break? Picking up a man's presence, a very angry, abusive, very aggressive man. Just venting out his anger. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live from here. The Winter Gardens in Morecambe, a grand but now slightly dilapidated building closed since 1977, but our nerve centre for the next eight nights. Eight nights, eight faces of evil. And I can assure you that this is one of the most nail-biting and potentially dangerous, most haunted lives I have ever been part of. And I, for one, am already starting to feel a tad nervous. The time is nearly here for the team to take centre stage in this grand but ominous theatre. Now, while they make their final preparations, take a look at just what might be in store for them tonight. Taking pride of place on Morecambe Seafront, the Winter Gardens was built in 18... Taking pride of place on Morecambe Seafront, the Winter Gardens was built in 1897 as a pleasure palace for the then thriving seaside town. But time has ravaged this once grand theatre, and today, as the building stands derelict, consumed by decay, its once lively visitors have been replaced by another, more sinister, perhaps even supernatural guests. It is alleged that no one is safe from the evil residing in the very fabric of this imposing theatre. Rumour has it that this one spectacular venue is now divided in two, as spiritual forces of good and evil clash, stirring up an ungodly amount of paranormal occurrences. The spirit of a tragic Edwardian woman who fell to her death, the ghost of a small malevolent being who terrorized guests and the domineering evil presence of an overpowering man who harbors a vicious hatred of women. These phantoms and more are said to stalk the theater's darkest corners. Will one of these tortured souls be tonight's face of evil? The investigation is imminent. Now, myself and everybody here in this magnificent building are at the centre of what is rumoured to be, potentially, a portal to another world, the spirit world. And that's what our investigation is focusing on tonight, a world in which the team hope to confront those souls who are not at rest. Now, medium and psychic artist Brian Shepard has already attempted contact, and this is what he found, and it is not for the squeamish. I'm picking up a person, I'm picking up a man's presence, a very angry, abusive, very aggressive man, just venting out his anger. My feeling is that there's always been this presence here and it's grown over the years that this building's been in place. More and more I'm feeling that, that in him is a, if you like, manifestation of the evil that resides here. 
I think there's a real danger, if you like, a real danger involved investigating this venue. Whatever this is manifests itself in some of the shapes we've seen up above us. And hopefully we can obtain, if you like, a likeness, a face of evil. Ladies and gentlemen, the curtains concealing the entrance in this theatre to another world, an unearthly world, are about to be thrown open. And evil forces are invited, positively encouraged, to join us centre stage. The investigation is about to commence. to conduct a seance in which we may call up unsettled souls from the spirit world. If you feel that you do not wish to be part of the seance, can I ask you please to leave this place now. Anybody that feels uncomfortable, please go to the nearest door and you'll be escorted uh, into a waiting room. If you wish to stay and be part of the seance, can I ask you please for complete and utter silence. Thank you. Together, guys. Okay. Can we lock down now, please? Now I'd like to ask for all the lights in the whole building to be turned off now, please. I'm just going to do a tone with the Tibetan bowl. Everybody, please concentrate. Put your feet flat on the floor. Thank you. There we go. I call out to all the spirits in this place, this building. Please come towards us now. Come towards the center of this table. I call out to all the spirits here, please let us know of your presence, let yourselves be known, come towards me, hear my voice, the table is shaking. It's gone cold, it's yeah, straight it away is. right yeah. across my hands. Yes, it's cold it's behind me. I'm just going to... The table's definitely vibrating. Yeah. Do you know if I can whisper? Yeah. Whisper. Listen. I'm just putting this bowl on the table, it has marbles on it. Hopefully it should pick up the shaking. It's not too violent at the moment. Please come towards us now. Use our energies. Let us know if you're here. The table is shaking again. Please come towards us. Make noises if you can. Let us hear your voice. Let us hear your voices. Come out of the shadows, whoever you are. Come towards me now. Come towards these people here in this place. Let yourselves be known. 
If you used to work here, if you acted here, if you belong to the ground that this building was built on, please come towards us.